Embedded analytics. I thought this might be a good topic for a quick video, as there's many new people to the business intelligence industry who might feel overwhelmed with some of the jargon that's used, specifically the term embedded analytics. Let's look at what this means and why people care about it. And speaking of caring, did you know that people who take care of chickens are literally chicken tenders? Think about it. I'm Jeff, and this is Off the Charts with Jeff. So the short answer to this is that embedded analytics is simply analytics embedded within another application. So to understand embedded analytics, you need to understand the meaning of embedding from a software point of view and what analytics are in general. Let's first start with analytics. And I know this might just be my opinion, but if you talk to many of my colleagues, you'll learn that I really can't stand the term analytics. From my perspective, Advanced analytics doesn't mean anything. It's a phrase used heavily in the business intelligence landscape. And the problem is that it's very vague as a term and often loosely defined or not defined at all. Whenever I meet with a customer and they tell me that they want advanced analytics, it immediately calls for a much deeper discussion. And it is really just muddy. You have business intelligence software, which implies full stack data to dashboards and includes analytics. But what does analytics software mean then? Is it a specialized form of software? What are data analytics? How does that not apply to the visual analytics? And so on. As you can see, it gets muddy very quickly. And you talk to people, you'll get a different definition every time. I'll give you an example. So I'll ask people, what do they mean by this? Do you mean complex machine learning? Are you talking about some kind of ability to identify specific problems and highlight them visually? Are you looking to embed? Are you looking to provide self-service capabilities with complex formulas to solve a lot of problems? Oh, you just want charts with an average calculated? I'm glad we asked. In my opinion, this term exists to add an air of sophistication to a relatively straightforward topic. People in the know talk about analytics, not reports and dashboards. There's of course a nuance between these topics, but I would say that generally analytics is referring to a little bit more analysis and understanding versus, you know, giving you the why rather than the what. Now, in reality, these terms are pretty much used synonymously by most people. I fully appreciate the difference, but most people have a very small amount of exposure to the industry and to the masses. This term is just noise. OK, I'm done ranting. I promise. Let's just say that analytics can be a blanket term referring to data visualization and all the tangential capabilities. Now, the other part of this is embedding. Embedding is the ability to have software work inside another piece of software. And typically, it's kind of seamless. Good embedding within a web portal or another page isn't just a link that's going to take you to a completely different system. Typically, you'll have a single login and your reporting capabilities coming from a BI tool will be available within that other application. The most common case for this is for people who have software as a service and want to include new reporting capabilities to their users. As an example, you might have software that dentists use to allow you know, people to manage their practice, dealing with accounting and all these things on the day-to-day. -day. Now, you might also decide, as someone providing that software, that you want to give these customers reporting capabilities. And that's where embedding would come into play. You could choose a tool like Dundas BI and embed the ability to view reporting from that data that you're collecting. So you would provide dashboards and reports out of the box. The Health Quality Ontario uh, actually has a really good example where they've embedded Dundas BI and users can come in and see these analytic capabilities right here. And as you can see, it really does feel like a seamless website. Now, other times, companies will want more and their users will expect some kind of self-service capability or to even potentially build their own dashboards and reports. And these capabilities can be embedded as well. And typically, when I hear I want advanced analytics that are embedded, this is the type of thing that people are talking about. They don't just want charts on a page. They want the ability to actually play with the data and get into the why and understand what's going on. Now, another thing that you should understand is that these days, embedding has undoubtedly grown to be beyond more of the common commercial use that I was just describing. With many companies moving to a work from home model, 
building reporting capabilities into a company portal for easy access is a common desire. This ability to embed is very similar to that commercial example that I provided, but they aren't selling the software. It really is just an ease of use thing and accessibility, of course. And again, just like the commercial use that I showed you, embedded users in a non-commercial setting could still have access to pre-built content, so reports and dashboards that are just there for them to access, or you could give them more advanced analytics capabilities, which would imply maybe building their own content right there. So it's the same deal, it's just who's using it. So hopefully now you have an idea of what embedded analytics might actually mean. And if you do want to learn a little bit more about areas around this topic, I'd recommend taking a look at a video that we did called The Benefits of Visualizing Data. This is a great one and shows why BI is necessary in general. Thanks for watching.